This is another episode of Convo with Kids, and I'm Robert, and next to me is Matthias. Now, Matthias' opening salvo to me was, hey, Rob, you promised me that the couch or the chair would be comfortable. And of course, he's saying, nah, it, it, this thing hard. <laughs> it, it is, it is. Yeah. But you know, when, 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 you come, when you come to an environment like this, Matthias, you just want to be gaming. You know, yeah. we, that's all the activity, just non-stop gaming, and all of you kids just love the game. Well, that's the whole point of Chuck E. Cheese, isn't it? Yeah, it is, granted. <laughs> but outside of that, you're a gamer. Uh, well, yes. But well, my parents don't really allow me to, like, like play like that much on like a daily basis or like play games like that like cost money and yeah. they, they, I remember them saying to me like a long time ago that from now on do not buy any games with money because you got to save your money to do something that you want to do now yeah. is the time you know we need clothes you need books books aren't cheap and I've, I've been hearing many people keep on saying to me but I don't really listen to them they say that that um that does game when in the future would would gaming give you money it would. If, if, if not then don't play it but i don't really listen to them because it's fun it's for leisure right it's for leisure for leisure for fun wow okay so i have been school right with a with a with a word today by matthias so for leisure having fun yeah. For, oh, for leisure, as in leisure. Okay, okay, which is a, 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 a different, yeah, my bad. Just just totally ignore me. This is all about you. This is your show, right? Let's go back to gaming. You mentioned something about you like to teleport. Yes, yeah. I really So if I could teleport out of that that I just made and didn't understand for leisure, I thought that was a word. But anyway, let's talk about your teleporting on you. If I can teleport, like the I told this to um, to someone already. Well, like I would like pay, put a portal up there, then a portal down there, just fall infinitely. Then like put in points at the wall, then I'll shoot straight out the wall because I'm so far. Then I'll put it at another wall and I'll just teleport back in and just basically teleport it out. Magic, four magic, magic with a kick. So you don't want to be a superhero, you just want to teleport? Yes. Or you want to be a superhero? Um, both. I want to, like, because, like, it's so mm -hmm. cool. Like, if I'm in trouble, I could just, boom, disappear. No belt for me. But, okay, okay. But it does come with some disadvantages that I read online. That, like, if you teleport inside somebody now, problem. <laughs> yeah. You know, I wouldn't like to be standing here and all of a sudden Matthias is telling me what to do. Right, it's, it's inside like this of your hands, yeah, yeah. Then, then you just, just blow up. So, you, you, as you, as you speak about teleporting, I, I can see that you love sci-fi then. Yes. Why are you so fascinated with sci-fi? I don't know, there's something about it that's really cool. I like all the shows of sci-fi, especially like um, superhero shows. Cause mm. like, but they also make me feel bad because like when I try to like do them in like real life or like try to fly or like try to like teleport, I can't and I just get disappointed. But I like the, I like it on the whole. I just really like it. I don't know why. And, and what would you say, what's one of your favorite things to do in Trinidad and Tobago apart from gaming? Either swimming or running. I running? Run, I, run, okay. I run a lot in school. What distance? What's your distance? Uh, I remember running like a mile in school and every school day I try and find and try I try and race with someone. So it's not it's not it's not distance it's not like a 100 meter or 200 meter you like long distance running yes because it helps me lose all my energy and every like one day when i'm home i like to run down the corridor back and forth back and forth back and forth it's make me tired before i go to sleep I could be talking to you for days. Right, that's good. We don't have days, but I like talking to you. So, so in 
sci-fi do you do you, any any particular books or movies you like? Um, Harry Potter is one of them. I really like Harry Potter. Harry Potter, like, yeah. And the teleporter. Huh? Yeah. You like the teleporter, yeah? A Kuma Matata and a Boo. So my dad is. I really like the um the. A Kuma Matata is not lying. I, I, I know. You just mix. <laughs> you just mix it. <laughs> and I even know that. I just mix Lion King and yeah, Harry Potter together. Correct. A Kuma Matata. Yeah. of Harry Potter because like like the shock of it is really nice like like there's this kid who's like in a bad family then turns out he was like a wizard and he has to save the world from some bomb yeah. mm -hmm. it was a really good franchise and same with Narnia the land of Narnia but it was you, really nice but you like so you like you like music as well then uh not really but if I if I if I like in like a sad mood, I like, um, like hip hop and jazz and things yeah, like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like pop and stuff like that. What's one of your favorite hip hop artists? Uh, I don't really know, cause like I don't really, I don't look at the artists. I just listen to the, the song. music, the beats. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. I could beatbox really yeah. good, and I and I could sing music really good. Wow. Okay. I'm, so you know what I'm gonna ask you to do? What? I'm gonna ask you to look in this camera here and beatbox to me. <laughs> Give me a little something. Right there. Anymore? That was all somebody. I, I'm no, I'm no getting any groove. You know, I was just hearing the beat, like you said. Like, like I could listen to a song mm. and instantly find the chorus. I don't know why, and like. Since I listen to like kind of many songs, right? When I listen to a certain song, I can literally find the chorus and like I can find the next beat. So if it goes like, oh, I can literally find it the next beat. It goes down or like high or something. I can tell what the beat is. That's a really cool thing that I was blessed with. Of course, like you might want to be a music producer. That's money. That's money. I know. I want. I, I want like. I'll be an agent. Yeah, but yeah. I always want to be. Is that is that a yes? Or is that a verbal yes? I could be an agent. I'm gonna I, sign you up now. I guess. But I, like, the job that I really like is either scuba diving, mm -hmm. being like a gamer or something, yeah. like being like a YouTuber, or right. like, I want to be a pilot or a, like a captain of a ship. Some because really, then, really because cool then I can jobs. tell people what to do. Yeah. And that's another thing. I like to boss people around. Okay. I same could thing, see that. Same thing with my sister. She likes to boss people around more than me, by far. But yeah, I just really like to be like the boss of everything. Cause then I can tell people what to do. Then like no trouble will come my way. But also disadvantages. People will stop liking you and stuff like that. Well, I mean, you can you can you can do it in a nice way. Well, it's not. It's not always. It's not what you say. It's how so you say it. So basically, like I command somebody in like a like a soft voice because usually yeah. I. Well, don't don't say command. You can ask them. You can ask them what to do. You can ask, you can get them to do what you need them to do, right? That's a that's the job of being a good leader. You can get people to do what you need them to do, but you do it in a nice way that makes them feel good about themselves as well. Yeah, because there's two ways you could command somebody, or request somebody to do something in a nice way, like mm -hmm. like can you please get me water? Or like, an, or, like, or like a command, like, yeah. give me water now, like that's, that's like a... And one. nobody wants to do that, nobody yeah, no wants to be wants that to guy. Be, yeah, no one wants to be a servant. Yeah, but nobody wants to be that guy that's that's been told what to do so harshly. Yeah, like, a, yeah. like you feel like you have no will over your own body and you're, yeah. like, you're getting forced yeah. into someone's life. So who, who was a, who's a favorite person? Who's somebody, um, one of your favorites that you'd like to meet? What? Who would you like to meet in Trinidad and Tobago? Is there, is there any is there any favorite or hero in Trinidad or someone that's famous in Trinidad you'd like to meet? I always want to meet the president and the prime minister because I don't know why. Ever since I had a new um, president, Her Excellency Christine Kangaloo, I would always you tell want her? to meet. I don't I don't know. I just want to meet her. <laughs> so, 
Matthias, it's been, I know I know you and I said we could we can go on for ages, we can talk all day. Um, but I, I want to say it really was a pleasure chatting with you again. You know, we've, 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 I've had you in many other shows. Um, so what, what's something that you would tell the audience in Trinidad and Tobago um, in closing? Tell, tell them anything that you want to tell them. Be kind and don't be foolish. Peace out. Here on Convo Kids, we're all about making their wish come true. At least we try to as best as possible. Today we're here with Matthias. He's a bit overdressed for the mission. I got the script, he didn't. And that's because he has no idea why he's here. Even though all around we're surrounded by water and boats. So you wanted to boss people around all day. And honor? Boat. So we're making that dream come true. It's a good day. We picked a really, really nice day. Did you did you boss the weather as well? <laughs> no. Did you say, God, listen, I need really good weather today. This is my one shot. Is that what happened this morning? Um, well, I do pray all the time for good weather, but I did not expect it to be this sunny today. Like, it's very hot. You didn't even expect to have this dream come true. No, yeah. I didn't expect any of this, honestly. So let me ask you something. Do you have any idea what boat we're going on? Still, no. Take a look behind you. Uh. <laughs> Lady V. Boy, it's beautiful. And remember, you wanted to boss not just people around, but a captain around and learn what it's like to be a captain. So, yes. Jerry, meet. I want to own my own ship one day. One day, anything's possible. This is Uncle Jerry. Hello. Hey, morning. Uncle Jerry is the captain Good. of Lady V. You are the captain of Lady V? Yeah. Well, I must say, you have a beautiful boat. Thank you. So Uncle Jerry is going to show you what Lady V can do, oh, right? Okay. And guess what? You get to tell all of us what to do. So I'm going to get ready. ready? Oh my God! Right. Dad, Hadassah, come quick, come aboard. This boat is sick. Hadassah, Dad, come, come aboard. Hold the railing and come aboard. Come on! You too, come on. Good. Are you ready to start this boat now? Let's get ready to throw off the lines. Show on in. Untie the rope, starboard. Midport all around. Uncle Robert, untie the stern and port ropes.
that is uh, the island where they had the indented laborers before. They would quarantine them there before taking them onto the Trinidad. Oh, okay. Good to know. So, those islands are, are Diego Islands? Are yeah, Diego Islands? What, which is also known as Five Islands. How long did it take you to find out everything that, that works in this boat? <laughs> yeah, every day is a learning process still. With every new boat, they always every, all the systems are different, so you have to learn each boat individually. So you never really learn everything one time about one particular boat. So Captain, I think I want to go back to shore. Wait, I'm the captain. Let's go back to shore. see you again. Glad you had fun and looking forward to seeing you sometime soon. Okay, thank you. Uncle Rob, you did a good job. Thank you. I, I, I think I think I worked hard. Yes, uh, you did. <laughs> How was it for Convoy Kids? Um, it's been a good time and I really I really enjoyed us. Got 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 um, some some good bossing in there? Yes, I got to boss with people around and you really made my dream come true. Thank you. Can I can I can I have a drink now? Yeah. This is being convoy with kids.